Alright guys, so now we have all of our working files inside of Lightroom. And before we proceed to kind of really learn the library module in depth, I want you guys to first understand the relationship that Lightroom has with the operating system file management system. Um, because you guys will run into issues with missing or broken links in your, in your catalogs. I want you guys to be able to fix those and find out exactly why it's happening as well. So, let's go to the Windows Explorer for this catalog folder. And to do that, I'm going to right click on this Originals folder. I'm going to say Show in Explorer. It's automatically going to bring up Explorer. And you should see pretty close to the same thing. If you guys named it the same way, you'll see the same thing. But we have our Originals folder with our 22 images inside of it, and then our Catalog folder with our Catalog file and our previews inside of it. Um, if you guys don't have this or a similar uh, folder system set up, then go through the previous, the, the previous tutorials in this chapter and it'll get you to this point. Now, what happens if I change the name of this folder in the operating system? So if I change this to 05 Originals, automatically when I go back to Lightroom, I see a question mark right here. Um, it'll actually, it'll sometimes show that question mark also up in the uh, corner of each image. For some reason, it's not showing it right now. But um, if I try to do anything with these images, it's going to say that basically the the images are not available. It doesn't know where the folder is because I've changed it inside of Windows and Lightroom doesn't know that I made that change. If I try and export some, uh, one of the files, it'll say unable to export, the source files are offline or missing. So basically changes like that that you make in the operating system, whether you're moving the folder or whether you're renaming this folder, aren't going to be recognized by Lightroom. And you have to help Lightroom to realize, okay, I've either changed the folder name or I've moved them to a different location. So here's what I would do, is I would right click on Originals again and I'd click Find Missing Folder. Now I would point it to the new folder. And as long as the images are all there in the new folder, it's going to automatically f fix everything for you. Now, the same thing is going to happen if I move this folder to, like, let's say my desktop. It's going to break it as well. So if I go back to Lightroom, again, everything is broken again. We see our question marks up in the top right. Um, so we have to do the same thing where we either fix it or we move the folder back. Now, I think you guys pr probably understand now why I'm telling you guys to put all of your images into the same folder as your catalog file because if they're not, like, let's say I have my images on this folder and I have my catalog here. Well, if I transfer my catalog to, say, someone else so that they can go work on it, well, the images are left on my drive. Or if I move the images to some other place without realizing that the catalog didn't move along with it, then again, my catalog's going to break. So that's why we try and say, keep everything, the catalog and the images within the same folder for each job. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Lightroom, where this is named here, and I want that to be 00 Originals. So rather than having to go through that file naming hassle of changing it in Windows and then in Lightroom, I can do that right from within Lightroom. And I'm just going to right click again on the folder. I'm going to click Rename. I'm going to do 00 Originals again, just back to its original name. Hit Enter. And then if we go back to Windows, we'll see, hey, it's been renamed and Lightroom did it all for us. So it's renamed in the operating system file system as well as in Lightroom. There's no broken or missing links. But that's how you guys would fix it. So if you have a broken or missing link, then you're going to right click here on, on whatever's broken, point it to the new location, and then you're good. Alright guys, let's move on to the next tutorial.